see the Apollo guidance and navigation system in operation, we visited the system's test laboratory and talked with Mr. Ramon Alonso, assistant director of the instrumentation laboratory. One of the interesting aspects of the guidance system is the way in which the astronaut controls the guidance equipment through the computer. And he does so by means of the display and keyboard, which is a subsystem. There are two instances of the display and keyboard. One is with the rest of the navigation equipment in the lower equipment bay. And the other is near the couches where the astronauts can operate the computer without leaving their couches. The system of codes used is reasonably simple. It consists of a numeric verb and a numerical noun. These are little sentences made of numbers, then? Essentially, uh, if you straight a bit. The, an example of it might be a verb 16, which is continuous display in decimal, and a noun, which is time. I picked these. I know it work. I've now told the computer what I want, but I'm not, I have not yet told it to go ahead and do what I want. When I press Enter, the computer proceeds to display time. And it does so, giving me times from launch, perhaps, in hours and hundreds of hours, 98.56 hours from launch. And it also gives me a fine view of the low order part of the time in seconds and hundreds of seconds. That is useful occasionally. I should think it's around launch time. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Yes. The computer will continue to display that information until told otherwise. And it's told otherwise by another verb. In this case, the verb is terminate. 34. It's now forgotten that command. Another example of the use of the computer might be to position the optics. Now, that is something that can be done manually and usually would be, but it affords us a good view as to how the computer is operated. The optics are now pointing in a certain direction, and I want to change that direction to another target. And I will invoke a verb, which is point, verb 41, and a noun, which is optics, noun 55. Point the telescope. Point mm -hmm. the telescope. When I press Enter, the computer then proceeds to request the angle to which I wish the optics pointed. Well, the numbers have changed, and now they're flashing, aren't they? That's right. The flashing indicates that action is requested of the operator, and the verb and nouns have changed to tell the operator what it is that is expected of it. Verb 21 is load. Load the first component, the first angle. And noun 57, it used to be 55, is the angle. 55 was mm -hmm. the telescope, and 57 is the angle which the telescope makes. In this case, the angle I want is 180 degrees. And I enter that, and now it asks for the second angle. 22. Right. Second angle is plus 325. Now, when I press Enter, the camera, which will come close to the eyepiece, will see the telescope slew and point to another target. As you can see, the crosshairs were lined up on the edge of the rightmost of the two targets. And the computer is now driving the optics telescope with relation to the spacecraft. And it's aligning it on the rightmost of this pair of targets. And there you can see the crosshairs right in the middle of the target. Suppose now that we had done the optical sighting by hand rather than by the computer, and that we wanted to inform the computer that we are on target. This is part of the procedure that is done when star sights are made, as Mr. Eldon Hall mentioned previously. That is done by means of a mark button, which is located in the lower equipment bay. When the telescope is on target, the astronaut presses the mark button, and the computer changes the display to display, that's the verb, mark information, number 56. And what it displays are the two angles that the telescope is making and the time at which that measurement was made. Notice that these angles are very close to the ones that were commanded originally in our earlier efforts. This information is part of what is necessary for the computer to then estimate the present position and velocity of the spacecraft to estimate what the velocity correction is that ought to be formed and then to execute that velocity correction. 